Hello students, in this video let us understand how to calculate machine hour rate. Here they have given problem, work out the machine hour rate for the following machine for the month of January. So they have clearly stated that we need to find out machine hour rate for the month of January and they have given some of the information. So before calculating machine hour rate, we are supposed to divide these expenses as standing charges and variable charges. In this problem they have given cost of machine, other charges that is uh, freight and installation, then working life they have given 10 years and working gas they have given 2000 per year. So now the first four information we, uh, we require for the purpose of calculation of depreciation. So depreciation is variable in the sense since it will vary from year to year it will come under variable charges. So next they have given repair charges. Repair charges is 50% of depreciation in a sense whatever the depreciation you will calculate out of that depreciation 50% depreciation is repair charges. Repair charges is variable cost because the company will incur repair char charges based on the damages. And the damage is the damage mail in the repair charges and now spend the variable cost. And the damage is the one amount. So, this is the damage is the same as the company amount is spent. So, repair charges will come under variable cost or variable charges. Next they have given power 10 units per hour, they, they are directly given uh, 10 uh, units per hour, so no need to divide with anything, so we need to multiply directly uh, whatever the information given. So power consumption depends on the production, so if we produce more, we require more power, if we produce less, we require less power, so it is variable, it will vary based on the production. So next lubricating oil they have given rupees 2 per day of 8 hours so since it is given for 8 hours so it, it will be fixed or standing so next they have given consumable stores rupees 10 per day of 8 hours so since it is given for 8 hours so it is fixed so, so fix model is to uh, 10 rupees per day. So other the two they have given per day uh, requirement of lubricating oil and consumable stores. So it is fixed or standing. Next they have given wages of operator at rupees 4 per day. So since it is given per day, it is also fixed understanding so since they have given all the three information per day it is fixed so now let us calculate machine hour rate standing charges so under standing charges first we are supposed to take lubricating oil rupees 2 per day of 8 hours rupees 2 first let us write per day so later on we can calculate per hour so rupees 2 per day then consumable stores is also given rupees 10 per day of 8 hours so rupees 10 then wages of operator also given that rupees 4 per day so it will be equal to 16 rupees and in a day they will work for 8 hours so his 16 divided by 8 it will be equal to 2 rupees or else you can calculate separately in the sense they have given rupees 2 uh, per day of 8 hours so you can calculate separately 2 by 8 so consumable store they have given that rupees 10 per day of 8 hours so that also can be calculated 10 rupees divided by 8 hours so wages of operator is also given that rupees 4 per day so 4 divided by in a day they will work for 8 hours divided by 8 so that also will be equal to 2 rupees only instead of calculating separately so we can calculate at one time so 16 rupees divided by 8 it will be rupees 2 this is the total standing charges per hour so next let us calculate variable charges under variable charges as per the information given in the problem it is 
depreciation so depreciation we are supposed to calculate so depreciation can be calculated by adding installation charges to the cost of the machine cost of the machine given is 90000 rupees and installation and freight charges is 10000 rupees 90000 plus 10000 it will be 1 lakh divided by working life is 10 years into they have given working hours 2000 per year so we need to calculate to the whole life of the machine so whole life of the machine is 10 years so 2000 into 10 it will be equal to 20000 so for that purpose 10, 10 into 2000 so we will get 1 lakh divided by 20,000. So 1 lakh divided by 20,000 it will be equal to rupees 5. So instead of giving installation charges if they give a salvage value or scrap value of the asset we are supposed to deduct from the cost of the machine. So calculation will be the same. So cost of the machine plus installation divided by total working life of the machine. So total working life of the machine is equal to 10 into 2000 it will be 20,000. Next repairs is 50% of depreciation since they have given 50% of depreciation. So depreciation we have obtained is 5 rupees into 50% it will be equal to 2.50 per hour. Then power since power expenses given directly per hour so no need to divide with anything just uh, multiply 10 units per hour and the cost is 10 paise per unit so it will be 10 into 10 paise means 0 0.10 it will be equal to 1 rupee so now after calculating standing charges and variable charges make a total it will be 10.50 per hour machine rate thank you students it is very important for 6 marks